Hello friends, let's talk adaptogens today. Clearly Kai really likes maca. It's his favorite adaptogen. I'm just kidding, I have no idea what adaptogens he likes. He doesn't take adaptogens, but uh, it's the one that he's gravitating to and holding. So yeah, let's talk adaptogens. So a couple weeks ago, I mentioned on my story something about adaptogens, and I asked you all if you guys are familiar with adaptogens yourself, if you use it, and if you use it daily. And I had a few of you said that you do use adaptogens, but I had many of you who said you don't use adaptogens and you'd like more info about it. Um, via video. So here I am making a video on adaptogens for you guys. So let's talk about hey, what adaptogens are. So what are adaptogens? I love adaptogens and I think they are amazing plant medicine because it naturally works with your body to help your body produce what it needs or what it's missing. So adaptogens help your body adapt to the physiological stress or the environmental stress that it's experiencing and helps bring it back to homeostasis. So super cool, super fascinating. And yeah, let's start with my experience with adaptogens. And oh, just a disclosure, I'm not a medical expert, of course. I am just here sharing my experience with adaptogens. So of course, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm more happy to tell you what I used. Um, but if you need recommendations, um, always consult a medical professional first or do your own research on it. So let's start, hey, let's start with ashwagandha. So this is ashwagandha that I use, it's by Gaia. I love the brand Gaia. Um, they have really, really good herbs and high quality herbs, which I recommend. So I've taken ashwagandha both in the morning and in the evening. So I took it more in the morning when I used to work in sales and I had to cold call. I absolutely hated cold calling. I dreaded it and it would give me anxiety. So I use ashwagandha in the mornings to help calm me and help me have the mental clarity and focus that I needed before hopping on the phone. Um, now I don't use ashwagandha in the morning anymore. I actually use another adaptogen for that, which I'll explain in a second. But I primarily use ashwagandha in the evening now. And I use it before I go to bed in place of melatonin. And it helps me wind down, it helps me relax. And it's particularly good if you are like me and you have a million things going in your mind before going to bed at night. Um, it helps calm that. So yeah, that's basically what I use ashwagandha for. Um, yeah, and it's rooted in Ayurveda medicine. And if you're not familiar with Ayurveda medicine, it is India's oldest um, system of health that they've established hundreds of years ago. Yeah, and I really like Ayurveda medicine itself, um, which is how I discovered what ashwagandha is and what I used it for. So yeah, highly recommend ashwagandha too. Let's look at maca. Yeah, maca. This is what you were holding earlier. So again, Gaia. I use Gaia for maca as well. So maca is great for energy support. It literally says that on the bottle. Um, yeah, but G and I both actually used maca when we were trying to conceive this little guy. So for men, it helps with their libido and it helps their sperm motility and the quality of their sperm as well. And for women, it actually helps regulate our hormone system. Yeah, I know. So I actually started using maca back in 2016 when I got off the pill because of my HPV diagnosis and it helped uh, regulate my period and bring it back normally. And I was actually reading that it can help with menopause as well. So for you older ladies out there, if you're having problems with you know, menopause or your hormones for that, maca could help you. Um, but yeah, I find it, bless you, I find it fascinating that this plant medicine holds wisdom to help your body regulate its hormones without actually including hormones itself. Super, super fascinating. Yeah, yeah. That's what you think about it, huh? Yeah. 
he just woke up from a nap, so he had lots to say. Um, the other, uh, the, last, not the last one, the other one that I have to talk about is Lion's Mane by Four Sigmatic. So Lion's Mane is now what I use in the morning to help give me the mental focus and clarity that I need. I don't use ashwagandha for that anymore. And I love Four Sigmatic's brand of Lion's Mane. See, it's really cool. They make a bunch of other mushroom elixirs. So if you're looking to help calm yourself or to help chill um, or to help think, which is what this one's used for, you can look at uh, Four Sigmatic's other problem or other, <laughs> other problems, other packets, um, or even to defend your immune system, they make that too. But Lion's Mane is really great for the mornings. Um, I use it in my mother's milk tea. Um, before I start work, it helps support brain function, memory, productivity, focus, and learning. So I actually stopped drinking caffeine back in 2016 as well because caffeine can contribute to your HPV. And I even found that when I switched over to green tea, I still had really painful periods, like really bad cramps, really bad PMS. So I cut out caffeine altogether and I substitute um, when I do need that boost um, with lion's mane. So yeah, I really love it for that boost that I need in the morning. And as for, for Sigmata actually says, they say it's like a hug for your brain and it really does feel like a hug for your brain when you actually take it. Um, so yeah, on top of giving you the mental clarity and focus that it needs, it can also help boost your immune system by working with your intestinal activity. So that's pretty cool too. Um, and the last adaptogen that I want to talk about is turkey tail. I actually don't have turkey tail on me. I used the last of it before I got pregnant. But I started taking turkey tail as well back in 2016 with HPV because turkey tail can actually help fight HPV itself. It's super high in antiviral properties. Um, it's really perfect for flu season and obviously right now considering the day and age that we live in. And I started taking turkey tail because G's coworker, whose wife was diagnosed with breast cancer, used turkey tail to help beat her cancer. So I used it to help clear my HPV and it definitely worked. Um, I also read that, you want this? I also read, did it taste it? I also read that turkey tail um, can actually help with HIV and AIDS too. Super fascinating. Um, but yeah, so turkey tail, really good to add to your supplements if you take that, especially if you are wanting to boost your immune system or if even you have HPV too, you know, try to use turkey tail and see if it works for you. Um, and it can also aid in digestion too. It's actually really high in prebiotics, so it can help regulate your microbiome. And I'm a firm believer in your microbiome and your gut being the center of your entire health and your entire immune system. So if your gut is healthy, the rest of your body is healthy. So yeah, turkey tail can contribute to that too. So yeah, that's basically all the adaptogens that I have info for you guys on. And you know, yeah, adaptogens. Adaptogens perform best when they're taken consistently and regularly. And you know, I always just wanna emphasize that you can be taking all these supplements and doing all the things, but if your diet is still not the best and you're still eating you know, processed foods, um, non-organic veggies, non-organic fruits, foods that are high in fat, foods that are high in sugar, foods that are highly processed, you, the supplements may not do what it's supposed to do. You know, so if you're eating garbage, you'll most likely feel like garbage. So, you know, I just wanna emphasize, it's all about the whole system. Yeah, that's basically it. That's basically all I have for you. If you guys use adaptogen, yeah share with me below. Um, and for those that don't use this, use adaptogens, I hope this video served you. And I hope you got the info that you needed that you were looking for. And yeah, I hope this gave you some insight. So I hope you guys all have a beautiful weekend. Say bye-bye, Kai. Bye-bye. And let me know how it works for you. All right, namaste, bye-bye.